Okay, so this first one, it says identify the tissue and identify the cell. So take a second and try to do that. Okay, so the tissue is adipose tissue. And remember, you have to be able to spell these right. So practice spelling, write it five times. And then the cell type, anytime something ends with C-Y-T-E, it's a cell. So an adipocyte is an adipose cell, or a fat cell. This is going to be your insulator, right? Okay, next slide. Take a second to try to answer that. Okay, this is blood. Ooh. It's a connective tissue, right? And the cell is an erythrocyte or a red blood cell, but we'll write erythrocyte. Make sure you know how to spell erythrocyte. Good. Next one. Okay, so go over that one. Okay, this tissue is bone. Okay, what is the cell type found in the tissue? It's going to be an osteocyte. Let's change colors here. So an osteocyte is a bone cell. Okay, next one. Take a second look at this one. It's a little harder. Okay, this is cardiac muscle. So remember, this is one of the muscle tissues. And if you look at it, you can see how it's striated. Okay, so cardiac and skeletal are both striated. But the cardiac has, look at that little dash right there in between. You can see they're everywhere. Those little dashes, that separates the cell. So it's a barrier that's separating the cell. And those are called intercalated discs. Make sure you know both of those and make sure you know how to spell intercalated discs. Okay, the next one, take a second and try to figure this one out. This one out. So you want to identify this tissue and then the space around the tissue. Okay, good. This one is elastic. Cartilage. And you can see the elastic fibers right there. Right, this one's in your ears. And that space is the lacuna. Good, next one. Okay, take a second, see if you can figure this one out. All right, this one is fibrocartilage. Whoops. And that's all one word. Let me let me see if I can write it better for you. Good. And a cell, one cell is called a chondrocyte. Good. Okay, the next one. Okay, this is hyaline cartilage.
And this is a connective tissue. Okay, next question. So take a second, see if you can figure this one out. Okay, so you got the one layer right here. So that means it's simple. And then if you'll look, the cells are long. So that means it's simple columnar. Okay, and then this structure is a goblet cell. And that's what secures the mucus in the uterus and then in the intestines. And we said in class slippery. Okay, the next one. This one should be easy. It look, doesn't look like the other ones. Okay, this is nervous tissue. Or you could actually say that is a neuron, that one cell is a neuron. Good, next question. Okay, so when you look at this, you can actually see the striations. Right, you can see all the striations. So this one is skeletal muscle. Good, next question. So you got many layers, so this one's going to be stratified. And then you can see some of them are flat, so it's stratified squamous. Good. Next question. Okay, so take a second figure that one out. This one is transitional. Whoops. So transitional epithelium. Right, because it goes from the cuboidal to the flat. These look on your notes it says they're dome shaped. So and it stretches out. This is in your bladder. Okay, this picture you'll see on page 19 of your lab book. So see if you can figure out what would be where those numbers are. Okay, so the first one is kind of hard to see where they are, but make sure and study this picture. The first one is talking about this, this plane right here. And that is going to be the mid-sagittal. It's all one word, sagittal, mid-sagittal. So for, that, for this box right here, that's what I'm looking at. For that box right there, you could either write mid-sagittal or you could have written um, median. Okay, for the next one, let's look at uh, this one right here. So it's talking about this plane, the one that cuts it into front and back. And so that one is going to be frontal.
or you can write either answer coronal. Okay, and then this one right here is this plane. Let's take all of it off. So this this number right here, we're talking about this plane. And that is going to be the transverse. Good. Okay, next one. Body cavities. This is on page uh, 17 of your lab book. So see if you can fill that out without me, and then I'll write the answers in. Okay, so this is your cranial cavity right here. So cranial cavity is there. This is your vertebral cavity. Okay, this is your thoracic cavity. This, just this one right here, is the abdominal cavity. This one is the pelvic cavity. Okay, and then the abdominal cavity and the pelvic cavity together are called abdominal A, B, D. This one people spell wrong most of the time, so be careful on this one. O, pelvic. So make sure you get that O right there. It's all one word, but abdominopelvic cavity. Okay, good. Next slide. Okay, this one is on page 15 of your, nope, 14, I'm sorry, 14, it's on page 14 of your lab book. So pause the video, make sure you can answer all those. Okay, up here you have superior. and inferior okay number two and number six are the same thing and they are proximal five is distal and five and three are the same thing oh and then eight right here in the middle is medial So eight is medial, and then seven is lateral. Okay, next question. What is the magnification of, you need to know all the objectives, right? This one's just a practice. So remember there is scanning, which is low, which is the smallest one. Scanning is 4x. Low power is 10x, high power is 40x, and then of course there's oil, which is 100x. Okay, what is the total magnification of the scan 4 times the ocular, which is 10? Right, so the ocular is 10, the scan is 4, so the total is going to be 40 X. The answer to this one was 4x. And then what is the magnification of just the high power is also 40. So make sure you know all the objectives and the ocular is 10 and to get total magnification you always multiply. So 10 times whatever objective it is. Okay, this one, I've wanted to go over this one in the video for sure because we're using the words that are on the handout. Okay, so, or in the notes, but not the ones that are in the picture. Now, if you were to put uh, what was in the picture, I would not mark it wrong. 
but you want to make sure um, you go and look at this from your handout. So this one is actually just asking you uh, write, you just spell it right, you have to write it out, right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, left lower quadrant, except you're going to write those words out, and then um, this number 11 would be right lower quadrant. But let's go over the ones that um, have the nine, and I'm gonna I'm gonna draw it on this picture. So. Okay, so looking at this, I can actually take some off. Okay, so looking at your handout, see if you can fill this one out for me. Okay, so on this side you have right, so this one right here. Remember it's the thing that the body, it's the right and left sides of the body, not yours. Hypo, which means below. Chondric. Right below the cartilage. Okay, and then this over here is going to be the left. Hypo, chondric, okay, the middle one right here is umbilical, okay, and then below the umbilical, that's the pubic. P U B I C. Good. Over here is right lateral. And then you have over here left lateral. And then your hip region is left inguium. Okay, hang on, let me make sure I spell this right for you. I hope that doesn't cut off. Okay, the left inguil and then the right. Okay, and then the right inguil is over here. So take a second and study these because this one the spelling is kind of hard. So there's your right lateral, left lateral, left inguium, right inguium. The umbilical is right here, which is in the middle. And then pubic is on the bottom. Oh, we left one out. The epigastric right at the top. Okay, good deal. So take a second, study those. Remember, these are the words I want you to know for your lab exam from the handout or the notes, but not the picture in the book. Okay, the lighted circular area of the eyepiece, this would be from lab, the microscope lab. That's going to be your field of view. The part of the microscope that houses different objectives, that is the revolving nose piece. And then the third question, what is used to clean the microscope is lens paper, right? Okay, I hope this was helpful. Make sure that you know all of the answers to all of these questions before I see you for your lab exam.